Well, if you live in and around the metro area, you know well that a mean wind blew in through the canyon last night, a little before midnight. After midnight, we had wind gusts in excess of 55 miles per hour out there. And look what happened in Brenda Zeman's backyard. This palm, a healthy looking tree here with a pretty good sized trunk, just literally snapped in two. And we've actually got some other damage pictures we'll be sharing with you tonight uh, here in the news as well here on KRQE News 13 of some wind damage. Trees just not able to stand up to those brutal winds. By the way, if you've got some weather pictures you'd like to share with us or maybe share with everybody else out there watching, pics at krqe.com is our address. Now, we're going to stay on the topic of winds and take a look at what the wind's doing right now. And it's continued to be a breezy afternoon out there in the metro. Right now, wind sustained at 24 miles per hour up in Santa Fe at 20. Good news is, though, as you venture down into the southern parts of the state where the fires have been burning, winds a little lighter down that way, although Alamogordo kind of gusty, but still the windiest areas appear to be in the Albuquerque metro and westward along the interstate there. That's where the remains of this front are, and it's the same front that blew in with all that wind last night. Now, behind the front, cool and moist air, and it's been a very cloudy day. Actually, the clouds have prevented big thunderstorms in the east. Meanwhile, tonight, those clouds will linger with stars elsewhere in a cool night area-wide, but as winds go more southerly tomorrow, and tamer winds, mind you, they're not going to be as strong, temperatures are going to be climbing back into the 70s and 80s statewide, and actually, in the days to come, talking mostly next week during the work week, some more warm weather weather's coming our way, but we have had a good little break from some of that heat so far out there. Yesterday above normal, way up into the 80s. We've been like that for a week or so running now. Not so this time. So far at the Sunport, 58 the afternoon high, 60, or 68 that is, 65 is what we're looking at right now. And yes, some gusty winds out there as well. But look at the difference in temperatures. You've got these warmer temperatures in the west where the front kind of stalled out. And you mix that moisture in with that frontal boundary. That's when you start seeing some of those showers and storms developing out there. And you can see a couple of areas here, one across the north central mountains of New Mexico, other in the western, southwestern mountains of the state. All of these areas have seen some pretty big storms, and here's a close-up look at what that is showing on the radar at the particular time. These storms up to the north, no longer severe, mind you, but it was this band of storms that prompted the severe thunderstorm warnings earlier today. Main effect of those storms was some pea-sized hail, as you see it there. We're going to get right back to that. I thought we were going to get back to the forecast. It looks like my... Uh, my little computer box has kind of jumped on me. There we go. Let's get right back into it now and take you region by region. Again, some pea-sized hail from those severe storms earlier, but it looks like that severe weather threat has diminished. Now, temperatures tonight are going to be kind of cool out there. We're still going to have some slightly cooler than normal weather in the east, but in the western parts of the state and even down in the south, temperatures are going to start to bounce back a little bit. We may not quite get where we're headed in the southeast tomorrow, but temperatures will come around in the days to come. Meanwhile, our East Mountain communities. Well, not a bad day tomorrow, mid to upper 70s, and it looks like low to mid 80s for much of the Rio Grande Valley, and there will be a good deal of sunshine to come. Let's check out the next seven days. Is there another storm in our future? Well, the truth of the matter is we're going to get another moist flow, and that could result in some scattered storms by Friday and Saturday. That's still a long way off, though. In general, though, our forecast is going to feature warming temperatures and plenty of sunshine for the next few days. All right. Thank you, Jason. Here's